let's talk about Object Explorer details. Now, I really like Object Explorer details for its ability to let you script out more than one object at once. Not so crazy about using it for other things. It does do other things and I'll kind of show you why I'm a little hesitant about them, but I'm a huge fan when it comes to being able to quickly script out multiple things at once. Um, let's look just in plain old Object Explorer at a table. Let's look at sales. Uh, what do we want to look at? Sales.customers is our demo table. It has a bunch of indexes on it. And here I am in sales.customers and I can try to select multiple indexes. And I'm hitting shift and I'm just not, I'm only able to select one. That is normal. Object Explorer, plain old, just Object Explorer doesn't do that. What we need is its little friend, Object Explorer Details. You can open this by using F7. If you want to use the keyboard, you can hit that Alt button and go up to the View menu up top and get to it that way as well. And when I have Object Explorer Details, I'm gonna pin this here and it does give me a URL. I can make this window even bigger. It gives me a URL to try to help it be really, really clear where I am. I get a little tool tip there. Now I can highlight multiple items holding down the shift key. I can also do control A to highlight them all. And when I right click, and say script index, I can now script them all as create to a new query window and I have them all here. Now in a previous demo, I compressed an index with data compression. Is that here? I just searched for the word uh, data because honestly, I was like, is it compress? Is it compression? What's the exact word? It is in fact, data compression equals page. This is the alternate contact person ID index that we, we rebuilt with data compression equals page. Yes, tweaking the settings in tools options for Object Explorer is inherited by Object Explorer details there. So I got that. Now, I really like that. I am a little careful with using the synchronize button and I'm a little careful with using the find functionality. I don't like really doing those a ton in production databases. So I'm gonna go back into Object Explorer and just show you what they do. Especially in like test or non-production databases, sometimes I will use these there. I'm gonna use back just to kind of navigate around in Object Explorer. You actually can do that if you want, right? And see how I got, you know, sometimes navigation gets a little weird. See how I got the hourglass there? It's like, where do you want to go back to? I do find that clicking around a lot in Object Explorer details like this can lead me to situations where I've got something like an hourglass or like a grayed out pane and I'm left like, what query are you running in the background? And I get, that's why I get a little iffy in production servers. So I'm going into Object Explorer and I'm gonna click up here on Faster01. Object Explorer details catches up with me. So what I'm gonna do is use the search bar here. And I'm gonna search for everything that contains the letter A using wildcards. And it says, hey, I didn't get data for your request. Well, okay, I'm gonna click on Wide World Importers in Object Explorer and Object Explorer Details catches up. And I'm gonna say, okay, I wanna run this search in that context and see my context bar, you know, it confirms there. Well, now that I'm searching in that database, I have found 1,658 things that case I did a broad search. But the thing is there's databases out there that have thousands and thousands and thousands of objects in them. Sometimes searching, even with a more specific search than this, can be you know, kind, kind of a big query. And that's why I tend to be hesitant and I'm not like just too, super eager to use this everywhere. I'm gonna go 
to just a random table and right click and say synchronize to synchronize Object Explorer with it. And I'm back to, you know, that hourglass, it's having to run these queries in the background. I've asked, you know, for something that isn't always a small request and I'm getting kind of like, it's running queries. Well, could those queries cause blocking on my metadata? Maybe, right? I don't know. And that's why I don't like to do this too much in a production database. Sometimes it is fast and I get to my synchronized location quickly, but you know, not always. So I'm gonna go back and it reruns the search. I just like to use this really um, sparingly because Wide World Importers is not a particularly you know, a database that's large in terms of the number of objects that it has really, it's a small sample database. So with Object Explorer details, I am a huge fan when it comes to the ability to script out multiple items at once in terms of, you know, usage outside of a very safe test environment, that's about all I would do it. And even in a production environment, hopefully, all of my indexes are all nicely scripted out and checked into source control already and I don't need to go scripting them, but hey, no judgment if you're just getting there and you're just getting stuff checked in. We all gotta do what we gotta do.